Hey, uh, you asked me to uh, how I put the holes in the cylinder for the revolver. So I'm just going to make a quick little thing here showing how I did that. Just going to make a cylinder, give it 20 uh, subdivisions. Just so it's smooth enough. We're going to be using booleans and, uh, you know, we have to make sure it's, we can't smooth it afterwards. So we have to make sure that it's smooth enough, it, you know, initially to be what we want. So. Alright, so I'm just going to duplicate that, scale it down, just so it's kind of the size of the hole, the size of the hole we want. This is going to be the, like this is like the negative of the hole, so I mean the positive of the hole basically. So I'm just going to hold, uh, push the insert key, and just snap the pivot point to the center of the cylinder here. Actually. And I'm just going to duplicate this around. We have one, we need six, so we're just going to have five more. And we're going to rotate it at 60 degrees on Z. Looks like they're a little bit big, but that's all right. And I'm just going to combine those, mesh combine. We're going to select the cylinder and the holes and uh, go Boolean's difference. All right, that's the easy way to do it. Uh, obviously, you know, it creates a bunch of angons. It's, it's not worried about making quads or anything. Uh, you could fix it, but it would be a pain in the butt. And uh, you can't you can't smooth it unless that's what you're looking for. Uh, you know, bad things happen, so, so that's the easy way. Uh, if you needed to have it all quadded, which I don't, you know, for unless you're using it for a game or something where the engine is actually going to triangulate the surface or something like that. Uh, I think that bo the boolean works fine. It's just not going to deform or anything. But the the hard way to do it is it's not really hard, but it's just more time consuming. Is this to create a cylinder here? Another cylinder. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, but. It takes some uh, sort of some planning and stuff to get it to work, right? You, it's kind of challenging because you have to have just the right amount of geometry on the cylinder and the whole geometry that you're going to be using, or uh, things don't work really well. So, so let's see if we can get it to work. We're going to be using this uh, as a template for our hole, basically. So if you have enough geometry in here to hold that circle, so let's try something like let's turn back on our wire for much here so we can see what we're doing. So I'm trying to get this line to run straight through. I'll show you here in a second line. Like this line right here, I'm trying to get that to run straight through. That's kind of where the challenge comes in is uh, getting uh, getting that to happen all when we duplicate the the cylinder around. Uh, it's gonna be off, so we're gonna have, to have we're gonna have, to have enough resolution to uh, connect it together. But if we have too much, it's we're gonna uh, it's not going to work because we're going to be intersecting lines. Uh, you might see that here in a second if we run into that. But so I'm going to do the same thing I did before, just uh, move the pivot point up. Just duplicate that just so we can uh, visualize what we're looking at here. I'll write this around so we have something kind of like symmetry here. To make it easier on ourselves, we're just going to try to work on half of it and then mirror it over. It's always going to do that if you can. But you'll notice how, see how these lines are running straight through, but these are off. So the trick is getting just the amount of resolution in here that you need 
to uh, hold that, but not too much to where we can't connect it. So let's see what we can do here. How's that work? So 24 looks good, except we need to make sure that uh, it's looking pretty good. We need to make sure that, like I said, it's it's hard to explain until we run into it. But uh, we need to make sure we don't have too much geometry, or uh, we're going to run into an area where uh, we can't move the point because there's another line in the way. So but let's, uh, let's try that and see how that works. Let's go and delete this here. I have 12 on here, 12 subdivisions on these, and I think it was 24 on this, just in case you're curious. So. Before I, I should have put this before I deleted the stuff. But sorry, I'll just show you how to do this real quick. I'm just going to extrude this in. But if you're working on a flat plane like this, uh, when you extrude like that, you've you've actually created uh, new faces that are sitting on top of the back face here. So if you expand your selection out, and then you invert that selection, then you have selected the back face. It looks like all of them are selected, but it's it's just not. It's just the back face. So then, if you just delete that, then you took care. You take. You've taken care of all those uh, back faces. So I don't know if that made any sense, but so now it's just a matter of trying to figure out, you know, the resolution that we need to uh, connect these up. So again, if you if you don't do it just right, you're gonna have big gaps. Like we have kind of one here, there really isn't much we can do about it. But uh, if if the gap is too big, it will pull on the geometry, and uh, if you don't want that, it will cause these holes to you know go oblong, so they won't be uh, cylindrical anymore. So so let's go into our front view here. We're just going to move these points using uh, these. To the guide. Here. See, that's that's not too great, but again, it's just sort of trying to find, you know, happy medium, the best the best you can do. So, so now it's just. Points around. You could you could almost obviously do this after the boolean if you wanted to, but I've, I found that uh, that gets complicated really fast. So this is just as fast in my opinion. But see, that's a all right. We're getting there. Right now, I just delete this half. And uh, go to mesh mirror geometry. Need to do it minus x. And it looks like we need to turn the merge threshold down a little bit. And then uh, let's go ahead and hide these.
complete those. Let's do some other couple here. on real quick to see it looks like we got uh, work season to get merged in the mirror so let me take care of that real quick that's just from uh, not making sure that everything was on the center line when we mirrored it so real quick and see see if it'll do it all right so uh now we'll just figure this out all right that's uh that's how you do it the hard way basically so so anyway i hope this helped and uh Yeah, good luck.